Hello, my name is Ayoke and well in this video I built a giant base out in the water next to oil rig. And well, the rest of the server hated me for it. What the f Hey. The base that I'm trying to build is going to cost a fair bit, and so I'm going to need a stupid amount of stone. And I wouldn't be able to build the water base to begin with. But I headed over to the spot where I would build the base to see what I had to work with. Okay. Wow, this is going to be a complication. Yeah. A giant compound surrounding an island right off the coast where I would have my base would have been really bad. Luckily and unbeknownst to me at the time, they had actually just been raided. And so this compound wouldn't actually be a problem. But the people who raided them would. They lived on the coast right next to harbor. And right off the coast where I was gonna build my base. They were going to be a problem for sure. But for now I headed across the water to bandit camp to get down a starter base. On my way over, I found a decayed base. Ooh. I put down my starter base right next to Bandit Camp. Our base. This will be our daughter base. We have a recycler right here. Arctic base for other stuff. I had a lot of farming in front of me if I wanted to get up the base today, and so I spent the next hour or so just farming. As I was doing this, I also tried my best to get my hands on a few more guns, but it was really easier said than done. Right, I hope it was, it was worth it. <laughs> you lost your minicopter because you went off to a rewalk kid. Clearly I needed some better weapons. And luckily I had a lot of BPs on the server and so I bought a tier 2 workbench at bandit camp using the drones and then I crafted a custom. Hey, we can finally start using guns so we don't get fucked. Fuck you, man. Bitch. I did some more farming and then I could finally start building on the base. Hey, okay. I'm gonna see how far I can get with this. A box of stone, one and a half row of wood. All I want is to get down the foundation. But I'm a bit scared that this will not even be close to what I actually need. So, we'll see. I found a flat spot out in the ocean and then it was just for me to start building.
the stone I had actually got me further than I thought, and I now had a semi-secure core, but there was still some work to be done before I could move in. As I was running over to my starter base, I found another DK base. What the... Oh my... Okay. Nice. Oh, tier 3. Nice. This tier 3 workbench was a big find and would save me a lot of time. Someone must have raided this recently. This is really starting to come together. I, I, it's not as much stone as I thought. It's pretty... It's not as deep as I thought it would be here. Okay, time to farm some more stone. Try and finish at least the peaks and stuff. I still had a lot of farming in front of me, and so to make it a little easier on myself, I bought a jackhammer. And the big compound surrounding that island actually helped me out a lot, giving me a safe place to farm up all the stone I would need for the base. With the stone farmed, I could continue building on the base. Hey, base is starting to come together. It's looking good. But we still have a lot of work to do. To secure the base even further, I would need gears for garage doors. And so I headed over to the Arctic base and looted that. This gave me a few gears for garage doors. But then after this, a shiny crate dropped in train yard, and so I headed over to check it out. That's a nice crate. E4. I had now been on the server for a long time, and it was time to move into the water base. I still had a lot of work to do on the base, but it was time to check out the neighborhood. It didn't take people very long to get interested in this new base of mine. Fuck's sake, man. One of the reasons I had built my base right here was because it was right next to oil rig. And so when a group started taking it, I headed over to counter.
need all the wins I can get my hands on. And getting four guns from this is big. I'll take that and leave. No need to me, I, I can't be greedy right now. I had to play it smart and try and take every win I could get. After depoing, I headed back to pick up any leftovers. After this, I logged off for the day. Next day started with me doing some farming so that I could finish the base. This compound is actually kind of working in our favor as like a spot to farm. I mean, you take a bit of damage jumping in, but, but I mean, I know I'm gonna be undisturbed when I'm in here, which is super nice. It's like just farming peace. I headed over to the harbor where I could use the oil refinery and recycle. I also used this opportunity to roam around the area. The base at this point was really starting to come together. And so now it was time to really start contesting all the other groups over on Oil Rig. What? Of course, bro. <laughs> like a triple again, and he doesn't die. Fantastic. Such a fucking great game. Fuck, was he, what was he reversing? Did he want to fight? Really? You have the loot and you have a rib. He could have gotten away so easily. Oh, that's so nice. So much loot, so many guns, needed that. I was quickly filling up my boxes with loot, but after this I did some more work on the base. I now had a nice tower and a few more turrets around my base, making me feel a bit more safe. 
And it turns out it was needed, because my base was really starting to draw attention at this point. He died. <laughs> he died to my turret. Fucking dumbass. An interesting way to get my first AK for sure. I used this AK to take down Heli when it came out. Oh, that's some terrible, terrible crates. Garbage crates, actually. Yeah, probably the worst heli I have ever gotten. After this, I cooked up some of the sulfur I had gotten and crafted four rockets. And you know that clan I mentioned at the start of the video, the one that raided that other clan that had walled in the island? Well, they had a farm base separate from all the other bases. And I hoped it would be pretty loaded. And so I headed over to raid it. Jesus. The loot was okay, definitely worth the 4 rockets I used. But this was the end of day 2. Day 3 started with me selling some of the fertilizer I had gotten from that raid last night. And then with the scrap from that I bought a minicopter. And with this minicopter I could easily start taking oil rig. I also set up a bridge connecting my base to the mainland. Then the plan was just to continue cutting off all the other groups on the server from trying to take oil rig. Ah! Great. I had died, but I quickly grabbed another kit and headed back with the minicopter.
what the fuck? After this, I did something stupid, and something I usually don't do. But in a rage, I put on my best kit, and I died with that. But even though I had just lost a lot, I knew I was starting to piss this group off. You see, they had probably been running oil rig unopposed, all wipe. And then here I come in, building a base between their base and oil rig and stopping them from taking it all day yesterday. And so with all that said, I still thought it would be a good idea to poke the bear a bit more and I headed over to their base with the Thompson kit. I had now become a problem that they had to deal with. What the? The fuck? Uh, my base wasn't ready for our defense, and also it really didn't help that I just threw away kits at them. I just threw away my best kits. Yeah, it was GG. I realized why not more people build bases out in the ocean. The MLRS rockets just tears through it. But I wasn't done just yet. I still believed in this idea, and I'd be damned if I let a guy named Kirby get the best of me. It was now a few days later, and I had found a server with the right conditions for the base. And I basically just did the exact same thing as last time. Which meant I formed a lot of stone. A lot of farming and building later, and I had gotten up the base. And the base location was even better this time, since on this server oil rig was located right beside underwater labs. So I ran that a few times to fill up on components. But after this it was time to start filling up the base with other people's loot. But the next few hours would probably be the most I've struggled in Rust in a long time.
And when I was done getting destroyed by groups for the next hour, all I ran into was primitive players. After a few hours of just running into big groups or bulkheads, I finally started to catch a break. A big group was using the giant excavator. And well, while they were dealing with another group countering them, I sneaked my way in and grabbed some of the goods. <sighs> At this point the base was starting to come together, and so it was time to start countering oil rig again. To make this even easier I put down a computer station. This way I would be able to have eyes on oil rig at all times. <laughs> it's so dirty.
And just like that, I was a target again. And it didn't take very long for one of them to come back to my base and door camp me. After this, I took a break for a few minutes as I went to get something to eat. And well, when I came back, someone had been trying to get into my base. I can only assume that it was the group that I had just stolen all that loot from. After this, nothing much happened for the rest of the day. I just had a few people come by and check out the base. <laughs> the next morning started with me doing some early morning farming. The plan was to just spend the rest of the day running oil rig. That's a good, that's a good crate. Rocket E4, I'll take that. It. I don't care. I don't care for the minicopter. I'm not letting them get away. Could have probably done it without crashing the minicopter, but move. And since I don't really need BPs. Uh, scrap won't be an issue. I can just go and buy another minicopter. I started hearing a raid by the shore of my base, and so I headed over to counter.
the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Huh? What the fuck did I just witness? They just threw a C4 on me. I headed back to see if there was any loot left over. Fucking get out! Oh my god, man. The fucking water almost killed me. What the fuck happened here? Then a few minutes later, I heard another raid next to the giant excavator. At least we got something from this, from all the MP5s we lost. Two MP5, we lost two MP5s, got this. Fair trade I would say. I was quickly starting to fill my boxes up with loot again. And I was now even more rich than on the last server. I had a lot of components at this point and so I headed over to Harbor to recycle. Time to go.
<sighs> After this, I took a break for a few minutes, but as I was away, a group tried to pull a quick one on me. Luckily, I came back just in time. What the fuck happened here? After sealing up the base, they had lost, and they just packed up and left. Oh. Okay, so someone just tried to raid us. It's only one turret that's gone. I can live with that. I think it was those guys, and I'm pretty sure they thought it was going to be an offline raid. I think it was... I6. Those guys have been fighting a few times at oil rig. And also, I'm pretty sure those were the guys that just threw the seed for at me while I was fighting them. They seemed like the kind of guys that would have a lot of explosives to waste. But I realized that my time on the server was coming to a close. Because if I couldn't get this base secure enough, it would not survive the night. But first I had to patch up the base. I was also started to run low on low grading cloth, and so I headed over to harbor. But harbor was pretty far away from my base, and I didn't want to be away for too long, and so after the components were done, I headed back to make sure my base was still standing. Then back to harbor again to finish cooking the low grade. But little did I know, someone was watching my every move. On my way back from harbor, I started hearing some rockets in the distance.
your doom day has come, my friend. You're gonna fucking die. Fuck did I open it? Bro, oh, I was away for 10 minutes. Please stand up, please stand up, I beg. That's a GG. Oh, man, I was away for five minutes. Well, it looks like people hate water bases. Like, I don't have the time. I've done so much farming. I can't farm. As a solo player, I can't farm as much as I have to do to get up, like, to the, where the base is actually defendable. Like, in a good way. I mean, I could have defended there, but I needed to be in the base. Like, when I came, they already had control of the base, and nothing I could do. He got that super nice triple headshot on me while uh, when I was trying to make the play with the grenade launcher. And after that, it was just GG. I had, n I had nowhere to move in the base, nothing. As soon as they had the top and the bottom of the base, like, it was over. It just sucks. Sucks, Luz. Like, that's two times now. Exact same. Not exact same way. The first time, it was my fault. I was reckless and I... Did some dumb plays. This time I thought I built in a like more shallow water, but the base was still so expensive to upkeep, so expensive to build. If you guys want to see me try this again, even though it was so, oh, so cancer. I have some ideas now of what I have to do. Like I have to get up the SAM sites pretty quickly because it's the MLRS rockets that really messed with me. Because those just take out everything. I need, I need that, and then you also need to metal up everything. Like, everything the base is standing on needs to be metal. It can't be stone. Because the MLRS just fucks that up. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you subscribe. And leave a like on it. Also, I'm closing in on a thousand followers on Twitter. So make sure that you go and follow me over there. You can also join my Discord server for channel updates. Or if you just want to chat with me. But I will see you guys in the next video. Peace and goodbye.